know how far we've actually strayed off the course of things because given the technology that we have available mm -hmm. to us now the ubiquitous i mean we all have a camera that can record on us most of the time right the fact that we're not seeing way 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 more recordings whistleblowing mm -hmm. stuff coming out actually tells you how unhealthy our our media landscape is it tells you how bad the legacy news is and that they are not actually giving you objective factual reported facts they are expressing opinions now there was a great clip this morning that i showed uh showed uh tammy right when we sat down that's just this guy i think it was msnbc yeah, right was and he's MSNBC. just lamenting he's just like Oh my goodness, with, with, with Elon buying Twitter, Twitter can now like suppress the truth and not show people and blah. And I mean, Which is it has exactly tense. the opposite of why Elon is spending what, $44 billion, billion dollars to buy Twitter, not to curtail speech and limit it to only one perspective, but to open Twitter back up so that there is some, some place where free speech is allowed on social media. And here's the thing, it'll be interesting. $44 billion, dollars. I mean, good on him. Well, you know, and of course the Twitter sphere, uh, yes, good on him. Uh, honestly, uh, I think this is going to be a very, very, very positive development. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, you know, I did see a bunch of people who are like, ah, I'm going to leave Twitter now. I'm like, okay, okay. so they're going to destroy TikTok. They're going to Canada. <laughs> if Canada buys Elon Musk, I'm moving to Twitter. <laughs> <laughs>